we're here in uh, Malaga, Spain, at the the view of the new. Oh, I was looking for the star panel <laughs> here, but <laughs> one of the very cool things about this new car is that there's no bottom. There's this, like this beautiful piece that looks like uh, jewelry almost. Uh, yeah, that yeah. that makes it uh, start. So again, you're one of the main engineers, especially in charge of the safety and technology right in the Volvo yeah some of the things that are that are most known from a Volvo I mean safety is like you've been you invented this right well yeah safety <laughs> is a core value of Volvo and I have the privilege to actually work at Volvo car safety center I've been working with safety for more than 20 years now at Volvo yeah so Volvo takes a very different approach to the way they develop technology for the cars, right? I mean, you work directly with the governments and insurance agencies to really analyze everything that happens in a car when it's involved in an accident. And then that allows you to create this 2020 vision, right? Yes, that's, that's correct. We've been working, I mean, we have our own database. We have been collecting uh, crashes with Volvo cars in Sweden since the uh, early 70s, late 60s in order to gather data to understand what type of crashes occur, why do they occur, what typical injuries do you get. And by having that knowledge, because safety uh, development is all about knowledge, by yeah. having that knowledge about real people in real cars, in real traffic, uh, enables us to, to identify what we need to do in order to help prevent injuries and accidents. Yeah. This new generation of the S90, obviously at the top model of your lineup, has the latest technology, right? Yeah, this has the latest and greatest when it comes to both uh, collision avoidance. Uh, we have the city safety suite of collision avoidance technology, which is standard on this car. Uh, of course, you have all the protective safety of your car with the airbags, yeah. crumple zones, safety belt, three point safety belt, not to mention the least. So, tons of technology. Yeah. So, and, and it, this one also has, this is uh, the model that has, it's equipped with uh, what it's called the uh, pilot assist, right? Yes, uh, we're taking it one step further when it comes to how we can assist drivers to uh, be more comfortable, uh, help drivers to keep a better distance to cars in front, to key, help drivers keep a better position within the lanes uh, when they're out driving to make the right both more comfortable but also less stressful and consequently yeah. hopefully that will help. So let's go well. for a little drive and then we can uh, demonstrate how this uh, all this great technology works, right? Yes. So to begin with, the car is obviously equipped with, I don't know how many cameras, sensors and, and equipment that allows you to help the drive and make it more safe? Yes, I mean we have a, a radar and a camera up here in the windscreen that basically monitors the head of the car but also it monitors the sides of the road. Uh, and it monitors the sides of the road, uh, particularly to identify uh, pedestrians uh, that may occur from the side of the road or bicyclists. So that in case uh, a collision is likely, we can actually warn you. Yeah, this is kind of a kind of dangerous exit yeah. here because yeah, exactly. the incoming traffic is coming over a hill, so you don't really see them until they are on the top of the hill, they're going really fast. Yeah. So for that you have a... We have a blind spot. Blind spot, it, yeah. and that's how so, it so will work in that situation, right? Yeah, so you have a blind spot uh, information system that uses radars that are located in the rear of the vehicle that will see uh, cars, uh, motorcycle vehicles coming up in your uh, on the side on your blind spot and will give you a light in the uh, rear up Ford mirrors to uh, give you additional information that there is something there so we're now in the highway and uh, this is I guess the perfect scenario to try this uh, pilot assist technology right yeah well highway driving uh, I mean the task as such can be I mean your basic task is either to follow another car stay in your lane keep your speed and that's actually what the pilot assist is, is assisting you with okay uh, so when you engage it it's similar to uh, adaptive cruise control that you may have been driven, driving before, but we've also added uh, that the car will apply steering to help keep you in the center of the lane. So this is in one of the stages of towards being autonomous driving, right? I mean, 
weird. Well, yes, yeah, it's, it's part it's, of it. It's it's part of it in terms of technology development, but it's really a semi-autonomous system. So yeah. it's not autonomous drive. The driver with pilot assist, the driver is in charge. Is in charge. Should still be in control. Our philosophy uh, when it comes to driver assistance and also in the future for autonomous drive is that the role of the driver has to be very very clear yeah so you should know when you're supposed to be in control and it should also be in the future when you have the possibilities to drive autonomously it should be very clear that the car is in control so we don't want to mix up those two parts and be somewhere in between yeah and speaking of that stage level I mean there you talk about five different stages into the in the autonomous driving thing and this is considered stage two we all yeah I mean if you look at the definitions uh, that are out there uh, that is generally used this this is sort of a level two type of system uh, but we uh, our philosophy is not really uh, working with this we're not really considering uh, the different levels as such yeah. more importantly for us is to take the human perspective of it and that comes back to basically it's black and white either the driver is in control okay. that should be clear or the car, the car is, is and that should be clear okay so that's sort of because the transition in between there that's it's when like, you that's when like, you that's when you get confusion right? yeah and that's a and gray that's, area when things happen exactly bad things, things happen, happen. Yes. yeah so nothing like would that happen today with us here so um how would do this? Uh, well, it's uh, similar to uh, uh, the adaptive cruise control. You engage it. You have so it's uh, here in this uh, in the steering wheel here. Yes, you have the control. There it is, pilot assist. Yes, and you set the speed, and you actually see a, a green steer, steering okay. wheel in yeah. the instrument cluster. That means that the car is tracking the lanes and it's applying steering to keep you in the center of the lane. So at this point, I don't have to you throw brake no and I can adjust the speed here you can adjust the speed so there. we're in a road that is at 80 kilometers and we're at 78 so we increase it to 80 so now there well, we went a little too fast to yeah you see the 80, set speed yeah there you are at 80 86 now yeah so five down. five percent is allowed nice. I guess right <laughs> <laughs> so now we're like the car is it's actually looking at the lines of the yes, road and it's steering and so I mean, even though you're not supposed to take your hands off the steering, Same right? Wheel. Yeah. But just to demonstrate the fact that it does it, and like, what happened there, for example, we went into a little turn, and maybe the reading because of the sun affected, or what? No, no. This was you actually had an exit here, and the oh, lane, okay. mar lane, lane marking were that clear. Oh, okay. So of course, then the car got a little bit confused as to where. And it's that's what we're talking about. Like, you're still in charge because exactly. there's bunch of factors that can affect whatever happens in your driving. Exactly. So I mean, depending on the situation, depending on how well uh, the road and uh, the lane markings are, of course that affects uh, affects what the car can see. So I mean, if you can't see any lines, the car can't, the car see, can't any see any lines. But you know where you want to go. Yeah, exactly. The car don't know where you want to go. Yeah, yeah. Right? So you're in charge, you're in control. So what other factors might affect that situation? For example, here we're like the sun in, directly in front of us. It's There's no clouds, almost no clouds. The lines are pretty much clear, but I guess, well, not, now I got into this situation where like I engaged the brake, so I yeah. disengaged the then autopilot. Did, yeah, then you disengaged it and you need to press the button uh, to Again? resume it. Yeah, the resume button, the top one. Oh, okay. And then it will... There you go. It will engage again. When it picks up the lane markings again, it will engage. So this so, is a system in which you really have to, even though you're in control, you still have to trust what the car is going to do, right? I mean, if well, there's incoming traffic, the car will will adjust the speed. Yeah, I mean, if 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 you have a car coming in in front of you, it will try to reduce the distance to what the distance that you've actually set, and you can by using the controls here, you can actually okay. oh, okay, set what yeah. distance you want to have. So this is the furthest, and yes. this is the closest. So I mean, if you're in freeway traffic going fast, of course you want to keep a long distance. Longer distance, yeah. And if you're in stop and go traffic, traffic jam, maybe you want to have a closer distance. You can set that actually to have that yeah. distance. So this kind of technology, uh, 
and, and everything else that, that that you put into this car again it's uh, allowing you to come with this uh, 2020 vision which, which we didn't explain before which is nobody will die or get seriously injured in the Volvo car by 2020 right yes I mean, our, 2020 our, is like tomorrow in the auto industry <laughs> yes it is now yeah our vision is that by 2020 no one should be seriously injured or killed in the new Volvo and and for us working with it it's really a mindset because it means that we do not accept we don't the fact we do not accept the fact that you risk your life and limb just by yeah. transporting yourself, uh, and uh, so it's it's a, a very clear statement. It's uh, of course extremely challenging because, as you say, we're quite close to 2020 already. Yeah. But this generation of cars ha are actually prepared for taking that step uh, with the latest co uh, technology, both when it comes to protective safety, which it will still be an important yeah. part. Cars will crash by 2020. Uh, and more importantly, uh, we have the suite of collision avoidance technologies that uh, we are continuously uh, developing and uh, adding functionalities, adding more situations where we can help drivers to avoid collisions completely. Yeah. So, for instance, with this car, we're launching uh, two new uh, aspects of that. One. Uh, is the runoff road mitigation. So if you're about to run off the road for any reason. Okay, drifting, so if there weren't any barriers here that by itself the road? Yeah, and then the car senses, okay, you're drifting off the road, then it will try to push you back in the lane again. Or so like a, a, a more advanced lane keep assist kind of system? Well, we yes. Can, lane in general keep, terms, we can yeah, describe Yeah, lane, like lane keeping, uh, lane keep assist is, is available in this car as well. And that will actually help you to get into the, back into the lane when uh, when uh, you're getting close to the lane marking when you're driving on your own. Okay. So pilot assist helps you stay in the middle of the lane. Lane keeping aid helps you when if you're drifting close to the lane markings. It helps you back into the lane again. And runoff road mitigation, uh, road edges, barriers and so forth. And if you're actually drifting out of Okay. out of the road then it tries to push you back again uh, if you still <laughs> if for any re some reason you're still running off the road uh, this car has our runoff road protection system so the, the car senses okay now I'm running off the road oh, okay you have uh, you will be uh, the belts will the pretensioners, pretensioners, yeah. yes, well and uh, then uh, if you have a hard landing because a lot of times you see that uh, it's usually high speed when you run off yeah. the road, so you have a lot of energy in that uh, moment. And a lot of times the uh, roadway is elevated, so you may have quite a rough landing. Oh, okay. And so the risk of spine injuries is something that we yeah, see. Because the impact issue. is yes. pretty big when you. So the seats are designed uh, here to help reduce. Absorb the, the energy? energy? Oh, okay. Yes. So you have an element uh, or a piece of metal in the seats that will deform to absorb some of that energy. Okay. So we're getting you in a good position to help reduce the loading of the spine at the same time as we try to cushion the impact. And then obviously all the airbags and the all seats. Of that so it's is gonna, a, yeah. yeah, it's all that depending on what the situation is. And then um, this car also detects, as you said, pedestrians, yes. cyclists and big animals, right? Big animals. Uh, so large animals is, is another new thing with this car, a new scenario, uh, specifically in the northern hemisphere, you have uh, a lot of large animals, uh, deer, elks, mooses, and they have very long legs, and the mass or their body weight is mainly on in the, the middle, top, on yeah. the top, and when you hit or when you strike, oh, an animal I like see. That, you break the legs and everything comes in. Everything comes into your windscreen. And yeah. we, we have been working with this uh, for many years, for decades, when it comes to how we can help protect the occupants inside the car. But we know also that uh, these collisions occur at higher speeds. Uh, rural roads, uh, dusk and dawn, usually at higher speeds. And there's a limit as to how much you can do in terms of protection. Yeah. So the idea here is if we can detect that an animal is approaching, so if we can detect the, those situations, uh, one the driver, uh, then maybe the driver can uh, avoid the accident at all. Yes, by steering, braking, uh, and.
and in the situations where there is no time for the driver to to react, react. Uh, then we will apply the brakes. Not necessarily to avoid the impact completely, but to reduce the speed of impact, which, I mean, just a, a slight reduction of speed in these impacts we know will help uh, reduce the consequences significantly. So, to, to get into an accident in this car, I mean, you still have to do a lot of <laughs> make really bad decision at the same time i mean well i mean i wouldn't say i mean mistakes occur in traffic yeah. i mean we see that on a daily basis it may not be you maybe someone else so yeah. of course we need to protect and we need to help you stay alert uh, as a driver to uh, help uh, so that you can avoid these situations either give you a warning or by assisting you in one way or another uh, so that you can focus on the traffic environment. The car, like with pilot assist, will assist you by doing some of the simpler tasks, yeah. like controlling uh, your distance to the car in front, by controlling your position within the lane. I mean, that's sort of the 